Yo, what is happening, guys? Cybe again with a, another video. So today, guys, we're taking a look at The Division 2. The Division 2 is a game I've loved. I've loved it for a long time, ever since day one. But I kind of stopped playing it like a lot of people did. But, guys, the biggest update in the game's history, the game has been around since 2019, is coming on February the 6th, titled Project Resolve. And what that aims to do, according to the developers, is to make a range of improvements while laying the groundwork for future content. This includes changes to PvP, PvE, talents, and the overall performance of the game, which anybody who plays this game on PC, you know full well when flames come up on your screen, doesn't matter if you've got a 3000 PC like me, you get around 6 to 8 FPS. Not even exaggerating, guys. I'm sure you'll see some instance of this in the background of the gameplay you're watching so yeah guys enjoy the rest of the video division two if you haven't got it guys if you like this kind of game again it's not for everybody you can go and buy it for two pound 99 on ebay for consoles and you can get a key for around about five pound for pc so i think that's probably the best value you're gonna get in your life for any video game enjoy the rest of the gameplay guys and I cannot wait until February the 6th. If you want to see more Division 2 content on the channel, please leave a like. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. You don't have to watch every video, but maybe every now and then I'll do a video you're going to enjoy. All right, see you all soon. Enjoy the rest of the video. I just love the colour palette on this game. I think it's amazing. Oh, he's getting a bit close. You're getting a bit close and personal, son. I actually die quite a lot on this game because I just play like a complete idiot. Oh, get away from me. Ah, wrong button. Control. Alt, shift. It confuses me. There you go. Eat some lead, boy. That's it. You will run away. But yeah, the colour palette of this game's absolutely immense. It looks beautiful. Performance is straight up garbage on PC. But hopefully Project Resolve, which I'm confident will resolve that. It's kind of pushed all the DLC back to 2025, so it's got to be huge, guys. It's got to be huge. If it isn't huge, huge well, massive, people are going to be disappointed, aren't they? The min mini map sometimes confuses me where to go because it's not obvious. I should imagine we have to go through those fan blades then by process of elimination. There we go. We got there, guys. We got there. Can you imagine if they come out with this project resolve and say, right, guys, crossplay is enabled on it? Which, again, a lot of people want crossplay. I, I personally don't because of cheating problems on PC. But can you imagine if they did that? The area outside the bunker entrance. The area. Light them up, boys. Light them up. In this game, there's like loads of different builds you can do. I've got the Heartbreaker gear set on, so LMG, AR. See, guys, that's what I'm on about. Any flames, explosions on my screen when they're where my character model is. So it's wherever your player character model is. It doesn't matter if they're far away, but when they're on your player model, your FPS just tanks and it kills me. I get killed by that. I know a lot of people don't like being blinded and stuff, what they've added in the game. Again, oh, again, I'm by no means a player who knows everything about this game. But again, I've got to level 30. I'm level 35 on the SHD thing. I kind of know what I'm talking about for part of what I'm talking about. If, if, if that makes any sense, I don't know. These dogs. How do I kill these robo dogs? 
technical terms, obviously, guys, on this chat. Look how much hammer he's teching. Somebody told me you shoot them on the legs and it kills them easier. Nope. Not for me. I have to waste 500 bullets on one. Do you have to, like, break their armor first or something? I don't know. Oh no, great big robo dog with yellow armor. Oh, don't die, don't die, please Serious don't die. Detected. Don't die, guys! Don't System die! Okay, we're alright. I get this bullet. <laughs> this game, everybody's got, oh, everything's a bullet sponge. I get that with robot dogs. First person to actually tell me robot dog's real name. I'll guarantee reply to your comment. The thing is with this game, it goes on forever, you know, because you keep leveling your watch up. And you keep getting slightly more powerful. Thank God we managed to get that in. See, how did I... See, now that's good. We leveled it in pretty quickly. What do you think of my thumbnails, guys? Anyway, I've took Tex off of them. Do you prefer Tex on or off? Curious, guys. Help me, help you. See, look, I'm shooting him in its leg. It's just like, nope. Nope. I always get muggled up between spacebar control and alt to the different actions. I think Robo Dog's stuck in the corner. Like my dog in the kitchen. Whenever my dog's done it wrong, she lays in a corner in the kitchen, and I know if she's in that corner that something's going to be chewed or basically she's done something wrong. I just can't wait for this this update on bleh, February 6th. I didn't even know about it until somebody told me in the comments section on my last Division video. So they've not kind of marketed it brilliantly, but the game's only £2.99, guys. £2.99 eBay. I've actually got myself a version for Xbox. And that's just in case Project Resolve doesn't resolve anything. But no, there's loads of content in this game. One of the biggest things, what people say to me, is that there's too much going off on the world map. Like, they don't understand what everything is. And I even struggle, so God help somebody who's new. Okay, they're just going to stay up there and annoy me. Take a look at what they've been pulling from the wreckage. We have to know how bad I'm doing well, guys. I've not actually died yet. I'd love to record and play this game in 4K and upload in 4K, but... For some reason... Not just for some reason... Everybody's PC tanks on it. Download complete. Huh. They've managed to compile a ton of corrupted data from the Shade Network servers. I had no idea Black oh, great. More. to this kind of digital forensic software. But I actually like the story. I think the story's good as well. Division 1 was better, though. Even though Division 2 is good, I just thought Division 1 was amazing. Especially when they added that survival mode, you know. I'd give me the left leg. Sorry, me left arm to have survival mode in Division 2. I'm right-handed. Left foot. Sorry, right-footed as well. Give one of me the left limbs. Great, more robot dogs. Exactly what I want to see, guys. Exactly what we want to see, robot dogs. Woof, woof. Why did I just go woof, woof? I'm a moron. I'm just excited, guys. I'm having fun playing this game. It's just a shame I can't stream it. 
and played at the same time because you need a nuclear reactor for a PC to be able to do that. My PC's three grand and I get six FPS when there's flames on me character model. It's insane. Oh, I'm getting laser beamed. Come on, let's kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, I'm going to die. Yep, there we go, guys. It wouldn't be a uh, Mr. Simon B video without me dying. Let's try again. I'm, I'm just so impatient. That's my problem. I die just through being impatient. Not because I'm garbage. Don't anybody dare call me garbage in the chat. To be fair, if I had the money, I'd actually upgrade my processor because... Don't get me wrong, it's still a good processor, but it's not great. Well, it's not epic. Let's put it that way. Processors are Ryzen 9 5950X. But it's on, what is it? AMD. Is it AMD 4 architecture and AMD 5 is the new one? Somebody let me know. And again, I could do. I could replace the processor myself, but not a motherboard as well as everything else. Gonna have to take it somewhere at some point when I've got some money and um, get a new AM5 motherboard and get one of these better processors. I ain't got Intel for ages, but I've just been told AMD's better for gaming, you know, and streaming and stuff like that. Not, not better for gaming, just better for content creation, let's put it that way. That's it, just keep running to me and let me keep laser beaming you with my beast of an LMG. I don't even do player versus player on this game. And I, I will at some point. I just like PvE. But apparently they're changing, you know, a lot of the PvE and PvP around. So it's, it's, it's going to be very, very interesting. I just hope a lot of people come back to this game because it's very, very good. But I can't believe they're putting all this effort in on the Division 2. Stop shooting me. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't believe they're putting all that effort in on Division 2. While they've got Division Heartlands in production. And I've actually seen Heartlands gameplay as well. You can actually find it on the internet if you look hard enough. So I'm just kind of curious why they're still doing stuff on this game. I thought they would have like just left this now to rot, so to speak. And putting everything on um, the Heartlands release. Don't get me wrong, it's good to see that. But every other game franchise, you know, whenever the new one comes out, they just don't really give a shit anymore. I'm going to die. But come on, heal up, heal up. Whoo, that was clutch. To be fair, if I was actually, you know, where I need to be, instead of just being lazy. There we go. That's better. thing is you can have like a heart stopper I think it's heart stopper build like I've got but you can have loads of different builds like for your play styles like some do it's based on the skill tree some do it based on just raw firepower which pretty much like mine is then you have some where they put it all in armor but yeah good thing about this game is I can just chill and play it you know what I mean there's, there's no there's no sweat required. Yes, I do die a lot, but there's no sweat. Like, what, what was it? I played PUBG yesterday. That were alright. Apart from when you're playing versus 99 other players. For the wreckage. We have to know how bad this is. Season level up. Nice. Download complete. Hmm. 
They've managed to compile a ton of corrupted data from the Shade network servers. I've got a point for me watch. Let's see. Um, this this is basically where it can go on software. forever, guys, with your SHD levels, pretty much. Oh, no, it says max value 10%. So, basically, you can get an extra 10% crit chance just by being, you know, high-leveled on the game. Oh, great, here we go. F 5 FPS. Wasn't actually that bad then. I just like the colour palette on this game as well. It's awesome. The Coney Island one with the fun is amazing. It's probably one of the best game levels I've ever played in my life. Out of ammo, grey. Robot dogs do that to me. Trying to get the perfect build on this game is the all and end all and end game activities and difficulty modifiers so you can level up quicker. So even once you've done this on challenging, I can have other other things going on, like no minimap, for example, to get me extra XP and all sorts of bits and pieces. Wait, I think they call them mission directives. Oh, there we go, guys. F four FPS is probably going to kill me. Ah, four FPS. And we're dead, guys. So, yeah, I think we'll end the video right now. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to February the 6th update. If you've watched right until the end, guys, please type in the comment section to help me out on the YouTube algorithm, the Division 2 new update. All right, love you all. Take it easy. Have a great week. Bye-bye.